Hey guys, David Guest here. Just want to talk about the Christmas break and a bit of a growth hack. Um, when we come to Christmas, you know, a lot of people have this vivid plan of reading a lot of books, you know, and chucking these in your bag to take on holidays can be a real pain in the butt. So how do we go about reading the books that are important or how do we go about taking a break and doing some what's known as light tasking and really just absorbing, taking time to just relax and refresh ourselves? Well, to me, there's a couple of books here that I love. This is one of my favorite books ever, The Magic of Thinking Big. There's so many books out there that can help us grow our business, nurture our um, spirit, and just keep us growing. So what do we do? How do we actually get through all these books? Well, I'll give you a couple of other tips, some of the things that I do. Now, that represents my bedside table. Right? I've probably got about half a dozen books there at any point in time. And I only read books that are actually inspiring me at that time. So what I mean by that is, um, if I'm halfway through a book and I'm finding that I'm sort of it's not interesting me anymore, I don't need to finish the book. You know, sometimes when we read a book, you know, the first couple of paragraphs will give us the sense of the book. You can read through the you know table of contents. So don't read the book cover to cover unless it compels you to read it. Just read the sections that inspire you. Look through the table of contents. Is there something interesting in there that's relevant to you right now? Jump straight to that section. You're not going to spoil the story in most of these books. So use them as a reference book where possible. Um, if you're going through a phase where you're interested in goal setting, and this is a really good book, but then you know you got it and you sort of moved on, you say, look, that's not really what's bothering me at the moment. My big focus is marketing. So you know, then I'll pick up the marketing book, right? And I'll get the marketing book out and I'll look through it and I'll look through the pages, I'll look through the pictures, I'll flick through forward, I'll flick through backwards, I'll look at some of the quotes that are in there, you know, they're pretty cool. I'm looking for stuff, right? <clears throat> if it excites me, I'm going to keep reading it. I don't need to read cover to cover. I don't need to read exact, you know, chapter by chapter. So the trick with books is don't be compelled to read cover to cover, right? Pick a book. If it inspires you, read it. Skip through. Be willing to speed read through some of those sections. Have a few books open at the same time. Half the books on my book list, on my bookshelf, have um, just a post-it note holding a page marker because I got halfway through and I got bored. So read what inspires you. Don't just read books cover to cover. Second hack I'd like to give you on reading is you don't have to read, right? You can go onto Google and you can search a book author. So say you're interested in this particular book, you know, the enthusiasm makes a difference, Norman Vincent Peale. Jump online, Google this guy, right? Chances are it's going to be a pretty old video for Norman Vincent Peale. But there's usually some sort of videos, either one hour or 20 minute chats on Google that you can find on, on YouTube that you can actually get the summary of the book. You know, one of my favorite books is Starting With Why by Simon Sinek. But actually the TED Talk that Simon Sinek um, does encapsulates the message in 20 minutes. The book just reiterates the message and gives you all of the distinctions and all the case studies. So you can sort of start by just re-watching a 20 minute video and deciding whether you want to read the whole book. Don't get stuck on reading books. I like to buy them, I like to fill my shelves, I like to have them there so that if I choose to read them, they're available to me. But I don't get compelled that I have to read, read, read each book cover to cover. Another hack is to get audio books. You know, I have an Audible account and I buy a chunk of books, 12 books for the year, cost me 120 odd dollars. And then I just pick and choose my books. Now, I can listen to a book at 1.5 times speed, right? So it doesn't have to be all done in two minutes, uh, 1.5 times speed. Um, it just means that I can listen to the guy, I can walk, I can do other things while I'm listening, and I can also get my information that way. So when it comes to reading over Christmas, don't get stuck with reading one book unless it's your favorite. Uh, pick a few, choose the one that resonates with you most, either listen to it as an audio book or just go through and skim or try and find that author online and see if you can find the summary. This is David Guest, just want to give you a bit of a hack for getting through some reading through Christmas. Um, enjoy your break.